It is May of 1940. We're still going through the planning stages of the trim levels for Granville. We were looking for justification for the Sampson line to add a 2WS model. When we started looking at the cost of developing a brand new platform for that truck, which would only house the one motor, the cost outweighed the benefit, given that that would be a truck platform that is manufactured for only one vehicle currently. Even though as time goes on, we can expand from there, but it, it would cost a great deal more than the platform that we're currently on. So at this moment, with the massive amount of R&D that we're spending right now, it did not make financial sense. But we did, however, produce a Solaris 4WS, which was a different situation because that vehicle shares a platform with the Kyra and the Cyrus sedan. So we can lean heavily on economy of scale. So currently in our lineup, we have the single motor solar, single and dual motor Molina, single and dual motor Cyrus, dual motor Samson. We already started developing our Apollo full-size SUV, which is going to share the platform with the Samson. We have a dual and single motor Ravi compact SUV, a single motor Elio shooting brake, dual and single motor Chiron full-size sedan, and dual and single motor Solaris van. And on top of those, we have the Solar EES, Cyrus EES, Propel EES, Future plans for the Elio EES, the Sienna EES, and Ravi EES. So we are going to do a prototype for a possible electric micro vehicle, which would debut possibly sometime in the future. And that would share our compact single motor with the Solar compact sedan. When we retrofit that to the Emerson Air body, we come up with a vehicle that weighs somewhere around 2,700 pounds approximately a thousand pounds more than the Air CSX. And due to the weight, the vehicle would have a top speed of 62 miles per hour and an acceleration of approximately 38.1 seconds to 60. Our Solar compact sedan currently goes about 50 miles per charge and we will be able to achieve a little better range with the micro car which would achieve about a 2% improvement in range. The micro car would improve the top speed. You get approximately about 11 miles per hour more over our lightest sedan, which is the Solar, but at a reduced interior space because the vehicle will be approximately about 20 inches shorter than the compact sedan. If we equip the vehicle the same as the Solar compact sedan, we're only able to put a limited amount of equipment into the vehicle, primarily to keep the weight down, and that would push the vehicle weight just over 2,700 pounds, which would reduce the top speed of the vehicle the range would not really be affected, but it would cost us almost about the same amount in material costs and the project design would be a little more expensive. And given that we're only currently selling 95 solar sedans per month, this vehicle would slot in just below the price of the solar and price out more expensive than the current Air CSX, which is the high performance micro car. As far as a business sense, it would not make much sense given that our electric customers 
currently are only buying our larger vehicles with the exception of the Molina, which is a coupe. It just would not make much sense to bring out a micro car, which has less practicality and no real performance gains or range for our customer. 